After just four months in charge, Tottenham have relieved Nuno Espirito Santo and his coaching staff have left the club. Uh, we have a statement in from Spurs. It reads like this. The club can today announce that Nuno Espirito Santo and his coaching staff in Cathro, Rui Barbosa and Antonio Diaz have been relieved of their duties. Uh, Fabio Paratici, the managing director of football, has said this. I know how much Nuno and his coaching staff wanted to succeed and I regret that we have had to take this decision. Nuno is a true gentleman and will always be welcome here. We should like to thank him and his coaching staff and wish them well for the future. A further coaching update will follow, they say, in due course. Let's go live to the training ground where Paul Gilmore has been there for us all morning. Very good morning once again to you, Paul. Uh, right, he only got 17 games. How tough a decision was this for the club then? Good morning, Rob. Yes, Nuno Espero Santos' uh, four-month spell in charge of Tottenham has come to an end. He is at the training ground. He's still in there. He drove in this morning along with some of the other players as they were all arriving uh, for their training sessions today. But uh, instead of taking any form of training, Nuno Espero Santo was informed of the club's decision uh, to relieve him of his duties. And it was a, a decision that was taken swiftly. It was a decision... That was the direct consequence of emergency talks yesterday following that 3-0 home defeat against Manchester United, a defeat. Um, it didn't put Tottenham in uh, the best light. Uh, they uh, didn't have a shot on target. There were a, sort of a loud, noisy reaction from the crowd and uh, especially uh, when Lucas Moura was subbed, you think uh, back to the, the booing and, and uh, just how much uh, noise there was coming from the stands making their displeasure uh, known. So that um, that got uh, that sparked those emergency talks yesterday. Daniel Levy, Fabio Paratici and the, uh, the board met to discuss and of course the outcome is now known this morning and, and the outcome is that Nuno Espero Santo uh, will leave his position after such a short time and really this is around performances. Performances were the, the key factor in this um, as we sort of pointed out last night and in terms of being uh, still quite close to the top four and you know if the, if the team was playing well and, and scoring lots of goals and playing attacking football it maybe wouldn't have come to this but it's really the, uh, the manner of those performances that have really concerned the uh, Tottenham board and Daniel Levy. Uh, of course there were many problems uh, at Tottenham long before the manager came in there were problems uh, and bad feeling around you know being one of the clubs involved in the Super League uh, being in the Europa Conference League this season Harry Kane wanting to move away there were all of these sort of problems that Nuno you know, Espirito Santo has had to deal with in his uh, short time especially in those early days facing non-stop questions about Harry Kane uh, and dealing with that in such a dignified uh, way in such a uh, a way that he uh, didn't create too much uh, more drama around the whole situation so he's had a lot to deal with uh, I guess the, those problems do go beyond that but ultimately as the manager um, that's what will happen when um, you know Daniel Levy and the board uh, get into their heads that the performances are not good enough so that, that's been the real key uh, and it's been the, the style of football that has, uh, that has disappointed Tottenham the most well, uh, it said uh, an update on the coaching staff will be given shortly. Uh, any word as yet? I know it's very, very early, uh, but w what are your thoughts on that? Well, I know no decision has yet been taken on that. Uh, Brian Mason, of course, is still at the club and stepped in when Jose Mourinho left. So whether that is an avenue they go down until they announce the, or, or find the uh, permanent replacement, uh, what I do know is that the Tottenham uh, players are not needed to be out on the uh, training ground today. It is a recovery day. They're working with the sports scientists today. So it's a day uh, that they don't necessarily need to work uh, very closely with a manager ahead of that Conference League game on Thursday against Vitesse Arnhem at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So uh, they can buy themselves a little bit of time today, but no decision taken on that. But yeah, Ryan Mason is there and would be the obvious choice to step in and, uh, and just steady the ship uh, until they can find a, a permanent replacement.